Switch is an automation tool for both OS X and Windows that can automate a whole host of repetitive tasks that are very often still done manually. Switch is built up in a modular way around a core engine and a number of modules that extend its functionality. This movie focuses exclusively on the database module. It is recommended that you watched the movies on Switch Core Engine and the metadata module before this one. In the movie on the metadata module, you have seen what the added value of metadata is and how it can be embedded in a file or be available in a separate XML file. It is very often the case, however, that the metadata is located in a database. Here you see a very small sample database with job information we will be using to illustrate the integration of a database and switch. A real-life database will be a lot more elaborate than this simple example, but the principles remain the same. Note that the database does not have to run on the same computer as Switch Server. Switch can access any ODBC-compliant database to fetch and store information. There are several places in a switch flow where you can access a database. In a condition with variables, in text with variables, in a drop-down list in a submit point, and in the database connect element. The example database contains a column with color information for the job. This piece of information can be used to route the job to the correct instance of Pit Stop Server for pre-flighting. If you have watched the movie on the metadata module, you will see that the principle is very similar, except that the source of the information is now a database instead of an XML file. As I am building the SQL query, I have access to all the switch variables. In this case, I use the first part of the job's name to select the correct record in the database, but it could be anything. This makes the SQL queries in Switch particularly flexible and powerful. For text with variables, it is again similar to the metadata module. The mail address for the mail send element is now picked from the database. And the same goes for the property for the number of copies in a third-party configurator. The last example shows that Switch brings database access within reach of applications that do not have access to databases, thereby considerably increasing the level of automation. In the first two examples, the functionality of the metadata module and the database module is very similar. The choice which of the two is better suited for your needs depends on how you can get access to the metadata. Let us continue with a few examples where the database module is different. In a submit point, you can make a drop-down list that is shown to a user dynamic by picking the values from a database. In our sample database, there are jobs that are active and jobs that are finished. Here, we see a job number that is in the list, and after a change to the database, it is not. This list is, of course, very dynamic, and by using a database query to populate the list, you are always certain of showing the most up-to-date situation. Switch can also update the database. This is done with the database connect element. In this example, Switch adds the number of pages of a file that has been successfully pre-flighted to the corresponding column in the database. Again, I want to draw your attention to the fact that all possible switch variables can be used when building the SQL query, giving unlimited flexibility. This file has four pages. This is the value before preflight, and this is the value after a successful preflight. The database connect element can also be used to extract information from the database and attach it to the job as an XML dataset. Here we see the database module and the metadata module complementing each other very nicely. The advantage of attaching the fields from the database as metadata is especially high in flows that rely heavily on that metadata. Instead of accessing the database every time for each little piece of data, you access the database once in the beginning of the flow to retrieve everything about a job and you use all the fields as metadata further in the flow. Sometimes a status change in the database is the trigger to start a job. In other words, there is no incoming file to trigger the execution of a flow. 
it is up to Switch to go and fetch the information. This can be achieved by using the inject job element in front of a database connect element. There are settings that will let Switch inject a dummy text file, say, every five minutes. This will trigger the SQL query in database connect and when information is returned from the database, it can be used to pick up the job file, for example, using an HTTP download, and it can be further processed using all the other capabilities of Switch. As you can see, the database module further increases the power of Switch to help you achieve an even higher level of automation. Be sure to watch the videos on the other modules as well to see how these can further expand the power of Switch. Mm -hmm.